Hunter. Graves, Graves to Garden. Let's all stand together tonight. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, I love you and I give you all the glory. I thank you for tonight. I thank you for everything that you're doing here at Country Baptist Church. I thank you for the new carpet that got put in this, this week. Lord, I just thank you for everything that you're doing. In your precious and wonderful name I pray. Amen. And I searched the world But it couldn't fill me And man's empty graves Treasures of fame Are never
There it is. All right, thank you. Really appreciate it. Join me as we pray. Father, we thank you for the blessings of this day. Thank you so much for all that you do in our lives and for all that you're going to do, dear God. Lead us and guide us as only you can, Father. For you have promised that with your own eye you would lead us. And dear God, with your own hand have you guided us. So we thank you, we bless you, dear God, for all the many blessings and for the help that you cause and bring to our lives, dear Lord. For you are truly our help. So Father, bless. We thank you now for all that you do. And Father, we thank you, we praise you. We thank you in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to talk to you for a little bit. Uh, we're going to do things a little bit different just tonight. And so one of the things we're going to do, I've asked Gerald. Where Gerald? There you are. <laughs> you weren't wearing them hey dudes, man. That's what threw me off. All right. So I've asked, I've asked Brother to lead us into worship this evening. So we're going to worship, but we're going to pray. And I want to talk to you this evening because I've been doing this for a while. And, and I've been re you know reading the Bible as you have read the Bible. And i got to tell you, every time that God moves, every time that God does something, there's always blessings in abundance, always blessings in abundance. You've experienced it in your lives as well. But, you know, good and evil go on equal sides of the track. And whatever it is that you're doing, whether it be for God or whether it be for your own life, whatever it is that you're doing, you always will encounter both things. When you're trying to do something in life, uh, something always happens. It always happens like that. What happens the same way in church life. It happens the same way in the Christian life. And so I just want to talk to you for just a little bit because, listen, I would be, I would fail you if I didn't let you know a few things. First of all, the Bible says that we are not ignorant of his devices. We are not ignorant of how our enemy works. We're fools if we don't know uh, exactly how our enemy works. We would be fools. And so there's a lot of things that we have to do. Let me, let me start with youth. You see the youth? We have a good group of youth, uh, beautiful uh, Gosh, that's a, that's a lot prettier vehicle than I thought it was, my goodness. And so, you know, when I'm thinking buzz, I'm thinking yellow. I'm thinking yellow. I'm thinking yellow, okay? So, you know, white, pretty, all the above. You know, thank God and thank the individuals that were there. But we have youth and our youth as well. They need a lot of guidance. They need a lot of support. But as well, they need a lot of correction. And so sometimes youth are youth. If you guys remember what it was like to be young, young is young. But it doesn't always mean that young is always right. So a lot of times, listen, one thing, guys, you can, you can expect. You can expect support. You can expect the world. We're looking for you guys to surpass anything we ever imagined. But it also comes with correction. So if you get out of hand, you get out of line, you will be corrected. I'll be the first one to correct you. And my favorite thing to do is grab ears. I love grabbing ears. Uh, that is the best thing to grab. It's the equilibrium. So if you're going to be insulted by that, get insulted now because correct is correct. And you are here, and when you're out there, you represent us. So we're going to support you. You better believe we're going to support you, but you also better believe that we're going to correct you, as well as we are to be corrected as well. So youth, you also have liberty with us because i got to tell you something. This is the one guy that makes more mistakes than anybody else, so I'm open to correction. And uh, so I thank you for that as well. You see the things that we're doing, and there's a lot of things to do. If you sit here today and you can tell me more things that are needing to be done and more things you think are done wrong than you know things that are done right, you are a problem. And if that's all you think about, I need to let you know you are in danger, not of me, of contradicting and going against something. If we believe it's God, then I need to, I need to protect you. I need to protect you from you. So whatever we're doing for God, it's got to be for God, not for me. I'm not trying to build a kingdom here. We're trying to do the right thing by God in this community. We're trying to do the right thing. And so therefore, our mainstay is the word of God. Everything that comes will come from the word of God. It's not going to come from me. It's not going to come from my opinions, my thoughts. It'll come from the word of God. We have a lot of things that need to be done, starting with children, all the way to youth. They need leaders. They need instructors. Sister, I'm sure there's a lot of teachers that are needed, nursery, all the above. So there's plenty of work to do, and you are so needed. And as well, Gerald's always opening it up, saying, guys, I mean, you heard, I got so freaked out by DeJuan. DeJuan blessed my soul. And he's been sitting in there. I kept asking him, when are you going to sing? Because I could hear him singing. And so when I heard him sing, boy, he blessed my heart. Well, there's other individuals as well. Singing is what you like to do. You know, brother blessed me a song he did in my mother's favorite song. Never even practiced it. Got up and sang it like he'd been singing it all his life. So those things are blessings, not to me, but to everybody else. The other thing as well is we're following up and we're going to follow up. And we don't want people falling through the cracks. And our youth are providing so many individuals for us to see. Had a great fellowship last night. Had a great visit last night. 
and one of our youth's parents, actually grandparents, and had a great time with them. They blessed my heart to no degree. And I expect to do the same thing with every youth here, be able to visit them, visit their families, and be a support. Individuals that are out, listen, uh, Miss Lori, and I know we need uh, help driving and all the above. Thank you, sister, for what you do. Uh, but you guys have to do your part as well. If you're sitting in there and she's taking time to be out there, watch your mouth and watch what you say because that's disrespectful. If I catch you guys being disrespectful, you'll walk here because I ain't going to transport you over here. So therefore, if she's taking time to drive and if anybody else is taking time to drive, be respectful. And a very simple thing, I'm going to give you all a big clue for life. Thank you goes a long way. I don't think you're going to hurt her feelings if you tell her thank you for taking us. Uh, that's a very simple lesson. And, and so, sister, do, I do thank you. And all of you, Gerald, all you guys that take time. There's a lot of people here that take time to do a lot of things. So as we're moving, guys, and as we're doing things, and as things are progressing, we got a lot of work to do. Dear God, we have a lot of work to do. And you're seeing the things being done. God willing, we should have... The portables uh, all sealed up. It's been a lot of work. We haven't done the work. Some folks have done the work. Carpet as well. But at the same time, we have to do our job, have to do our due diligence to take care of what God has given us. And so that's going to take all of us. That's going to take all of us. Uh, do you know that at times, you know, if I see something, and and I, I'm not I'm not saying this is, Sam looks at me. No, no, wait, wait. I'm, I'm being sincere. And... You know, at first it was like, well, I'll just, no, 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 no. When she did, I was like, I have spilled coffee three times on that seat. And that's unacceptable for me. I mean, I'm not talking about, it, about me. And so we need to take care of whatever it is God has given us and just do a better job, right? That's just simple. And I'll, I'll be the first one to do that. And so I'm listening. I'm listening, guys. Please instruct me because I'm so sloppy, it's not even funny, you know, when it comes to stuff like that. So uh, we need all of you guys. We need all of you guys. Uh, I love our youth. I love what's going on. And the visit we had the other night, oh, my God. I see what you see, Gerald. And you see something very special. Gerald believes in all of you guys. So do we. And we want you guys to do. We're, we're, we're going to do everything possible to be a blessing. But you guys come along as well. Help us. And let's do great things. Children as well. Good grief, you have so many kids coming up and so many more kids on the way, young families. We're going to need teachers. And we're going to need individuals stepping up and all the above. Start praying. Start praying what God will put in your heart to do and whatever it is that God will lead you to do. Because we have a lot of opportunities. These are opportunities. And the opportunities that we have lay before you, lay before me. There's five different communities here that are waiting to be one. Five of them. And they're not very far. All the way from Castroville, Lytle, Lacoste, Divine, Natalia. We are right here. Just right here. We're like best location in the world. And so we're going to see God do some things. We're seeing God do some things. I have to warn you, be careful because we have an enemy. And whatever God is doing and moving, you better believe that movement is occurring on the other side as well. Be careful. Be careful because, listen, it's a, it's a very dangerous thing to oppose. I've done it before. And I can't begin to tell you the consequences I've suffered as a young Christian. So be careful. Encourage one another. Encourage one another in prayer. Encourage one another uh, it, with good words, right words. Encourage one another with what God wants us to do. And so we have so much stuff to do, it's not even crazy. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Gerald to come. And Gerald, as you come, I'm, I want you to lead us in worship. As God puts in your heart, Gerald, and... Uh, I'm telling you, I was waiting for the hey dudes, man. I thought you were going to wear them today. I'm late today. <laughs> okay, you're running late. Okay, that's a good excuse. And, uh, but as Brother leads us in worship, afterwards what I'd like to do is for us to pray. I'd love for us to pray for, for Gerald. Uh, he's got a hard thing to do. Pray for me. Pray for anybody that God has put in your heart. I mean, we have a sound team. We have a greeting team. We have individuals that do a lot. Pray for them. You, you better believe that everybody here has some type of attack in their life. We all do. So what is our greatest defense? It's prayer. It's prayer. And if we have any kind of kids, we got some, these are good-looking boys, good-looking girls, and you better believe that they are under attack as well. And so we need to do our best to guard them, protect them, and the best way I know to do that is to pray for them and with them. 
I want them to feel comfortable around us. And uh, these kids are funny, and they have great homes, and some of them are struggling. So we want to get to them. We want to support them. We want to pray with them. We want to be part of their lives. And I want to be able to say I knew these guys when they were young, as they grow older, and as we grow older, and as the babies as well, as they grow up. So uh, I got to tell you, I got up this morning, and I'm fearful. I'm not fearful of my enemy. I'm fearful of not fulfilling what God wants me to fulfill or to fail him or to fail you. And so I'm going to draw back tonight. We can preach. We can do whatever we want to do. Our strength is prayer. Our strength is God. And so therefore, I'm asking Brother to lead us in worship. Just take a deep breath, step back. And then afterwards, while Brother is singing, if you'd like to come to an altar, I love what he always says. Brother always says the altars are always open. And that's such a blessing. The altars are open. If you'd like to pray, if you'd like for somebody to just come up, if you see somebody, especially our precious youth, pray with them as well. Pray with our young families. And to those of you that do work in ministry, thank you so much for all that you're doing. Can't do it without you. Won't do it without you. So as brother leads us in worship, pray where you are. Let's sing together. Let's worship together. And then afterwards, afterwards, we're going to have a time of prayer. And we're going to pray together. And then once we're, we're, we're done praying, stick around fellowship, see what we're doing, fellowship with one another. Cover one another. Cover. Let me give you a Spanish word. The Spanish word from the barrio is this one. Esquinense en uno al otro. All that means is have each other's back. That's all. Have each other's back. No man ever goes out with another one. Marine principle, right? Nobody ever goes down without somebody picking them up. So let's follow those principles. Brother, if you'd lead us in worship, and thank you guys for all that you do, if you would, please. Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me. Yes, he does. 
church So when I fight
I don't know about y'all, but I'm happy to be saved. Amen? I had a bad day today. I don't know about y'all, but it's good. I feel better now that I'm here in the house of God. Get to remember your blessings. Uh, happy to be alive. Good to see everybody here. On that note, does anybody have a praise report this uh, evening? God bless them this week. Anybody? Go ahead, Gabe. All right. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? We have one more song, and it's called The Goodness of God. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. I will see of the goodness of God. Sing it, church. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. Every breath that I
You may be seated a second. I'd like to spend some time in prayer. One of the prayer, I'm asking you this Saturday at 10 a.m., we're going to have a memorial service. Uh, Josh, Josh's last name's Garza, right? And a young man, 29 years old, passed away. We were with his family last night, precious family, and I'm so grateful for that opportunity. He asked us, asked me if I would do a service. I said, absolutely. So about 15 people or so. And so uh, if you want to be a support to that, we're going to do that 10 o'clock Saturday morning. But I want you to pray for the family. This is not an easy thing. If you've ever lost someone, much less a young person, it is so painful. And so please join the Garza family, the Garza family in prayer. Do you have any other prayer requests? Something that you want us to pray about. We're going to pray about this evening. Yes, sir. His name, brother? Yes. Someone else. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. That's your grandfather. We are praying for your grandparents as well. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes. And for Angelica, continue to pray for her, the baby. Absolutely. Can you doing that? Anyone else? We're excited about that. Absolutely. Thank you for all you're doing for that. That's going to be fun, right? No guys. Gerald was asking. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes, sir. When does school start again for the youth? You guys already go back in school? You already start it? Divine starts the 23rd? Okay. The rest of the guys are in. Be praying for our kids. I mean, seriously. We have to do something, brother, where get their names or something. I'm a refrigerator person. If it's on the refrigerator, you know, so we can at least have different individuals praying for them. And I... We'll commit to pray, I mean, you know, and I'd like to just, so if you can help us with that, that'd be, that'd be great, absolutely. Anyone else? Pray for the booths. The booths, if you're listening, pray for them. We pray for them. Right? Actually, I pray more for Canada than I do the booths. So. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes, sir. 
Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. When do you when do you start? And there's such a shortage for teachers, all statewide, you know, and that's what they keep saying. They're going to try and solve that problem. So Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyone else? Saturday. Okay. There she is back there. All right. Would you join me as we pray, as we get together, and you know, you, you guys as well, uh, I'd ask you if you'd pray, come together. And uh, so I'm going to ask Gerald. Gerald, will you lead us? In prayer, and then afterwards, I'll, I'll close this out. But would you lead us at this time, please? Would we pray? Dear God, I do thank you for the opportunities laid before us. I ask for not only our children, our youth, dear God, as they go back to school, some back in and others about to start. Father, watch over them, dear Lord. Let them keep a warm heart towards you. And dear Lord, I just ask you to continue to speak to their lives as you have until now. And Father, that you continue to lead them as you have until now. And Father, thank you so much for each and every young person, dear Father, and for every child. We thank you, Father, for their lives, for their families. Give us opportunities to be able to minister to them, but also to their families. I do lift up the Garza family to you, dear Lord, and this loss that they've suffered. I ask you to watch over them, Father, watch over uh, Chris and his family, dear Lord, for Robert, for Lily. And dear God, I just ask that you would speak to their lives and we would be a blessing to them, dear Lord, as they have blessed me already. And Father, for the upcoming events, many of them, dear Father, that are before us, we need your help, dear God. We can't do anything without you. We admit to you right now, dear Lord, I admit to you right now that without you we're nothing. But with you we can do all things. And dear God, I ask you as well for individuals that have surrendered, 
For many individuals stated that you had a call on their lives, Father. Let not that call grow faint, but Father, let it be just as loud as it was and continue to be, and that, dear God, they would continue to follow, to serve, and find what it is that you would have them to do, dear Lord. And Father, we do lift up to you as well, Mr. Garcia, and Father, the procedures that are going on, strengthen the family in the midst of all of these things. Father, for the upcoming event that the ladies have planned, dear God, that not only our ladies, but those that surround our communities, Father, that they would be blessed. And Father, for those that go out, Father, visiting, soul winning, dear Lord, open doors, lead us to those people, dear Father, lead us to that soul nearest hell. And dear God, to those individuals that need to hear about Jesus and need to hear, dear Father, how to be saved. Let us never lose sight nor focus, dear Father, that your word is the foundation of all that we do. But also, dear God, we don't just seek to, to know you. We seek to make you known and that the world may know that Jesus is the Christ. Let that be in our lips, Father. Let that be in our hearts. Let that never stray away from us, dear Lord, that we would always know that the greatest thing we can do in serving you is to let everyone know who Jesus is, dear Lord. And Father, we do lift up to those that are going back to school and working in the schools, dear God, difficult situations, some that are going to be traveling, many on their ways to, to different places, dear Lord, I just ask that you just give them traveling mercies, that you would bless them, Father, watch over them, guide them, and lead us. Give us strength, dear Lord, as was requested this evening. Give us strength. Give us courage, dear Father, to be who you have asked us to be. Give us that boldness, that Holy Ghost boldness, dear Lord. Whenever the Holy Ghost boldness sets in, there's one thing we're bold about, and that's speaking the name of Jesus. And so, dear Lord, we do lift up these and many other petitions that have been requested already and some that are surrendering to ministry dear lord thank you for the detours in life and thank you dear god many times for the exits where we must go back and father go back to where it is that you called us and be able to get on the right path in the right direction and do those things dear god that are pleasing in your sight father we need strength we need guidance and father let us be wise in our dealings father let us be wise in our speech let it be wise, dear Father, in our approach to you. And dear Lord, that everything that is done, may it bring honor and glory to the name of Jesus. And Father, I do ask, we commit this church to you. It doesn't belong to me, it doesn't belong to anybody. It belongs to you. And so, dear God, we commit our lives to you. And the many people that have come and others that are on the way, Father, give us a word that we may be able to strengthen them. Give us a word that we might be able to encourage them. Father, give us a word that they might be able to hear how they might be saved. Give us a word on how, Father, they might be able to enhance and further their call and their service for you. Give us a word, dear Father, and let that word remain and abide in me before it comes out of my mouth. So thank you so much, dear Lord, for the blessings which are many. Thank you, dear God, for the opportunities in our personal lives. Thank you for the opportunities in outreach. Thank you for the person, the the promises that we have that are rich and true. So, Father, thank you for all that serve, all that do, Father, things. Let it be known, dear Lord, that there are many things that people here do. We might not see them, but you do. We do them, and we commit our lives to you. So, Father, this afternoon, we just set aside a time. We take a pause. And the pause that we're taking, dear Lord, is not to just do everything the way we're used to doing things, but to stop and recognize that our strength is our prayer. Our strength is to whom we pray. Our strength is what we seek and what we ask. What we're asking is that you be glorified. This is your service. This is your ministry. This is everything that we are and have. It's yours. So do with us as you will. Lead us and guide us, dear Lord. And Father, thank you so much. We pray, Father, for our service on Sunday. And we pray, dear God, that souls might be saved. Father, that individuals may be stirred and that some would surrender, dear God, their lives and that they might surrender their lives in service to you. So, Father, bless our families. Bless our children, our grandchildren, our brothers, our sisters, parents and grandparents. We commit this time to you. Now, Father, bless. Thank you for loving us the way that you do. And thank you for all that you've done. And thank you for using us, dear Lord. We thank you now, and we commit the rest of this day and week to you. 
Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless your holy name. And we thank you for all these things. In the precious and holy name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you guys.